Apache Guacamole is a clientless remote desktop gateway. It supports standard protocols like VNC, RDP, and SSH. We call it clientless because no plugins or client software are required. Thanks to HTML5, once Guacamole is installed on a server, all you need to access your desktops is a web browser. In this video, I will show you how we can quickly spin up a Guacamole gateway in Docker. Let's go. If you wish to deploy Guacamole or an application using the Guacamole core APIs, you will need a copy of GuacD running. GuacD is the native server-side proxy. First, I've defined a version environment variable in our version script for the Guacamole Docker image at Docker Hub. Second, I've defined the internal and external port numbers of my Docker container. It's worth to note that the external port numbers in this file should never be a duplicate of another. Then, I've defined some environment variables in our secret script. This file should never be uploaded to GitHub. It contains passwords and keys for all the applications we are going to need. Lastly, I have created two Docker files and a Docker Compose file. These files will make use of our environment variables. This way, we are less likely to break Docker containers because we defined wrong port numbers or maybe are using incompatible image versions. Guacamole supports MySQL or a Postgres database. I'm using a MySQL database. The MySQL service will extend the MySQL image as defined in an already existing Docker Compose file. Guacamole depends on the GuacD image as a server proxy, so I have included it in our Docker Compose file. The services always will build from the local Docker file. This way we can always extend the original image when needed. The Guacamole service doesn't need much configuration. All values are coming from our previously defined environment variables and are passed on to this service. The only thing we need to take care of is the initialization of the MySQL database. I've included an init DB script that takes care of this. When running this script, all necessary SQL commands will be saved to the config folder, which we mount into our MySQL service. You can simply execute the recreate script to build the containers, but keep in mind that this script also deletes the mounted persistent volume folder on your local computer. As you can see, we have successfully created our guacamole container. We can now navigate to the localhost on port 8080. Close your eyes. Now we can log in with the default username and password, which is both guac admin. After logging in, you should change this password with the value as specified in our secret script. From now on, we can set up our connections and our users. This tutorial will not go into depth on how to use the application, but rather focuses on getting things installed. That's it for this little video. You can find all sources and documentation at my GitHub page. Spikey out.